about the Tom Thompson cave. It has been reopened because of the shark sighting in Canoe Lake, the same lake that Tom Thompson has drowned in. Here's the detective. For years, we thought that it could just be a suicide or an accident because of his death, but now with the recent shark sightings in the water, we reopened the case because we think there might be a possibility that he's been killed by a shark. Al Weatherman is telling me that there's an unusual weather coming here. Here's Matthew Wigley for the weather. Thanks, James. We have heard that an F5 tornado is passing through the canoe lake and heading towards the city. Back to you, James. For the viewers that don't know who Tom Thompson is, he's a famous painter that painted the famous Jack Pine and West Wind paintings that hung in the National Gallery of Canada. He's a part of the Group 7 with Frederick, Jackson, Lauren, Barker, Frank Arthur, McDonald, and Emily Carr. Emily Carr wasn't allowed to be a part of the Group 7. The shark that was in the canoe lake wasn't the only one that the tornado sucked up. 170,000 sharks from that one lake turned the tornado into a sharknado that everyone's taking serious precaution about. Please stay indoors or evacuate from the city. I'm going to check in what's going on. Clark case. Can you believe that she couldn't be in the official group 7 because she was a woman? She worked alongside them and has the same skills as other men in the group. Emily Carr painted one of the most beautiful paintings like the Indian church or the black raven. Well, while we're talking about women, let's talk about how finally women are allowed to be a part of the Olympics. Bobby Roseman is a woman who won silver and gold medals in 1928 Olympics in hockey and tennis. She started in and got into sports into the Sports Hall of Fame. The F5 Sharknado has just hit the city and is coming towards me. Ah! I'll be right back while I'll go check on what's happening. It's a disaster outside. Many people are injured. Buildings are destroyed. I helped a bystander and he's going to tell us what's going on. Yes, I saw the nasty Sharknado hit Parliament and kill Wilfred Laurier. It was awful. I'm glad I got out. Here we come in with breaking news. The Sharknado has just reached Ottawa and just hit Parliament. Wilfred Laurier, the leader of the Liberal Party, just passed away. A new progressive party has emerged. Thank you for tuning in to Seahorse Radio. I'm James Mack, and I'm reporting out. Peace! I don't want to set the world on fire I just want to start a flame in your heart